In this video, we're taking you along on a weekend getaway in Japan with soothing hot springs, lots of good food, and just staying cozy while exploring beautiful places. So if that sounds good to you, then grab a warm drink, get comfy, and keep on watching! So for this trip, we're traveling with a couple friends who just flew in all the way from Hong Kong. And today, we're headed off to Kusatsu Onsen for one night and then Karuizawa for two nights. It's been a while since we all hung out, so I am super excited for us all to go on this trip. We made it onto the bus with four minutes to spare. Jeff has to do a bit of work. Afra and Rex are just sitting in front of us. Good morning. <laughs> For our breakfast, we're just having a couple of onigiri and a sandwich that we got from the convenience store this morning. Break time, break time! Yes. This is unexpected, but I'm very happy about it. Highway rest areas in Japan are truly something special. The bathrooms here are so big and clean, and the locks in each stall is actually a small tray for you to put your phone and wallet so you definitely won't forget it. Plus, there's a bunch of food and shopping options here, and it felt like we were in a proper shopping mall. For my snack, I got a Ichigo Daifuku because it's a seasonal winter delicacy. Jeff got a matcha latte from this hot drink vending machine that brews a fresh cup for you in just 30 seconds. And I think this was probably the coolest thing we saw here. The journey took about 4 hours and it was so worth it because Kusatsu Onsen is one of the top 3 hot springs in Japan and is super well known for its therapeutic water. Plus, the town itself has retained an authentic Japanese village vibe. It's super walkable with lots of different options for hotels and traditional ryokan. And most of these accommodations will actually have their own onsen facilities for guests to use. The hotel that we're staying at is super convenient. It's like three minutes from the bus stop, so excellent. It's quite new. I think it opened last year or something. Ooh, this is our hotel. We chose this hotel because we saw some great reviews online, and now even just based on our first impressions in the lobby, we are definitely glad that we picked this place. The blend of both the traditional and modern elements has been very well done here. Um, it's a bit too early to go up to our rooms though, so we're just dropping off our bags, having some welcome drinks in the lobby, and then we're going to head back out to explore the town. One of the most recognizable things that you'll see here is the Yubatake, which is this hot water field. And this is the main source of Kusatsu's natural hot spring water. And these wooden channels cool down the water before it gets distributed throughout the town, which means that the water isn't being diluted and you get the full benefits from bathing in it. If you guys ever visit, it would be handy to have a small towel on you because there are foot baths here that you can use. And the water here is constantly flowing, plus the acidity kills bacteria, so it's really quite clean. Now Jeff usually doesn't like shopping, but when it comes to snacks, he is super down. He also wants to bring something back for his office. It's called omiyage, which pretty much means souvenir. This is like onsen egg inspired um, dessert, and then like an onsen logo dessert. So here in Gunma Prefecture, their mascot is Gunma-chan the horse, and we thought it was so amusing how he's featured on a ton of the merch. Gunma-chan! What is it though? They even had him printed onto boxers, which honestly we were really tempted to buy just for fun. But anyways, in the end, Jeff decided to just get a box of Gunma-chan cookies. spacious 
Another reason why we chose this hotel is because they provide haori jackets and yukata for us to wear and we can wear it down to the onsen or out on the town and it just sounded really fun. We just changed into our yukata and they're so beautiful, oh my goodness. It makes me feel so like confident, like so flattering but conservative. And we're gonna go explore out on the town later um, in these and take some photos. But for now, we're just gonna go down to the onsen for our very first dip. And we're gonna bring our little baskets. Our little baskets. Adorable. We're gonna wear toe socks. Oh yeah. The onsen here is so clean and quiet and just really peaceful. I found some pictures from the website and pretty much it's an indoor bath and an outdoor bath. And our favorite was definitely the outdoor one. And after getting out of the onsen, everyone got free popsicles to help us cool down. By the way, quick tip, if you're visiting in the winter and you want to walk around outside in your yukata without freezing, you can wear base layers underneath which will keep you warm without ruining the outfit. We got our base layers from Uniqlo right before this trip and we are so glad we did. Check this out. Got my phone here. Little tripod here. That's not it. I've also got another camera. <laughs> and you can't even tell. I love it. Can't even tell that that much stuff. So boy. The nighttime vibe in Kusatsu is definitely something not to be missed. I mean, the lights combined with the rising steam just creates such a magical feeling. And the fact that we get to wear yukata makes the entire experience even cooler. Although one thing that I wish I brought with me were some touchscreen gloves because our hands were freezing from filming in the cold. Reserving all our meals at the hotel was a great call because it means we don't have to think about where to find food and we can all just focus on spending quality time together. Also, this restaurant created their very own edible soy sauce, which is like a fried mixture of ginger, garlic, sesame, and a few other things. We even got to try a special winter delicacy, pufferfish melt, and that's something we've never had before. So we're gonna try to get some good rest tonight, onsen tomorrow, have a yummy breakfast. Yeah, first day complete. It was really fun and good night. <laughs> So we booked a private onsen room this morning because we wanted to show you guys what it's like. So we're gonna quickly do the morning hygiene things and then head downstairs. When you finish, please give it back to the town. Okay. okay. So what we're supposed to do at an onsen is to put our clothes in a basket or a locker, then we go into the shower area with only a small towel which is meant for our head. We fill up the bucket and rinse the stool, then we can sit on the stool and then pour water all over our body. We can soap up, get really clean, and then rinse off fully before stepping into the onsen.
Personally, I think we preferred the shared onsen here more than the private room because the shared one is just much bigger and has an open air bath, but we can definitely see the appeal of a private room for someone who's maybe more shy or if they have children. The breakfast here is absolutely beautiful and one highlight is this onsen tamago which is an egg that has been slow cooked in the hot spring water here. Next time we come here, we'd love to stay for multiple nights and just onsen, eat, sleep and repeat. We really didn't want to leave because it's so comfy here, but it is time to pack up, check out, and head to our next destination, which is Karuizawa. We're definitely going to miss this place, but I have a feeling that we'll be back in the future. It only takes about an hour and a half by bus to get from Kusatsu Onsen to Karuizawa, but the buses only run about once an hour, so make sure to keep an eye on the time if you plan on making this trip. Our hotel is super close, it's literally this brown building. Up hotel. So we quickly dropped off our luggage and then came right back out because we wanted to walk around town before it gets cold and dark again. We were craving some hot food in this chilly weather so we went for some udon. Churu Tantan is actually a really popular chain in Japan and they're recognizable by their big bowls. This location is probably the coziest one that we've come across and we've been to a few. We also like how they always have new seasonal options and each store has special menu items that are exclusive to their location. So now we're checking out the main shopping street in Karuizawa and it's pretty quiet here right now since Karuizawa is more popular as a summer destination but it's all good, it just means that we get to enjoy the benefits of having zero crowds. Our friends stocked up on the gems from this store because apparently they're really popular for using seasonal Japanese fruits individually prepped by hand. Okay, so I think gems might be kind of a big thing here because we came across this other store that sold really unique flavors of jams and spreads. You guys might not guess what we bought from this next store, canned bread, which is something that I did not know existed until moving to Japan. It's basically a non-perishable food that's meant for keeping in an earthquake emergency kit. Finally, we stopped by this apple pie shop and oh my goodness, this turned out to be the best apple pie I've ever had in my life. It's got this light, flaky crust combined with a custard and apple filling. It was so yummy and didn't feel heavy at all, so we highly recommend trying this if you visit. So we grabbed a quick dinner and by the time we were finished, it was so dark and cold outside that we just went straight back to the hotel and called it a night. We woke up to a beautiful day and our friends are off snowboarding on the slopes this morning while Jeff and I are headed to Harunide Terrace. And apparently it's a nice quiet spot by the river and there's cafes and restaurants and boutiques. And since our goal is to chill and take it easy, that sounds like the perfect place for us to spend a good part of our day. This place 
definitely has a slow living kind of vibe. There's stuff like custom ring making workshops, farm fresh gelato, plus lots of boutiques with handcrafted goods and things made in Japan. But now it's cafe time! We sat outside and even though it was cold out, it still felt really nice because they provided blankets and even put a heater next to us. After the cafe, we stopped by this boutique next door and picked up a wooden shoehorn in the shape of a bird. And actually, we're really close to two of Karuizawa's most famous spots. The first one is the stone church, which has super unique architecture. Filming isn't allowed inside, but I found a photo online, and it definitely looks even more majestic when you're there in person. The second spot is Karuizawa Kogen Church, and apparently this is a really popular place for fall weddings because of the autumn leaves. It's also so wholesome that they even have a dedicated spot to display photos of all the couples that had their weddings here. Okay, so you guys probably won't be able to guess what we're having for dinner tonight because, uh, I mean, we were surprised ourselves. But we are at Cowboy House and it literally feels like we've been teleported to Texas or something. It's actually super cool here and they've got a ton of decor to fit the theme. We know it probably sounds kind of funny that we came all the way to Kuruizawa just to end up eating American style food, but hey, we had fun, the staff here are awesome, the food was delicious, and Jeff even got to wear a cowboy hat. So I mean, what more could we ask for? There was like an indoor bath and an outdoor bath, like fully outdoors. You could see a hill beside you where maybe it was really like animals. Yeah. And there's like a cold plunge there and a dry sauna. Oh, it was really nice. Yeah. And we recommend this one. We're catching one of the last trains to go back to our hotel. And Jeff is in a bit of a rush to get back because he wants to buy a rare milk. Yes, milk. Uh, from this special vending machine. And apparently when he checked yesterday, there were only two bottles left. So he's feeling kind of anxious right now. I think there's one more chocolate milk. Actually, it's coffee milk. Oh, it's coffee milk. Damn. I like it. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. oh. So we're heading back to Tokyo today, but we've got a couple hours this morning to enjoy the town one last bit before we go. We're starting our day with a brisk walk around Kumoba Pond, and yeah, it's a bit of sightseeing, but also we've just been eating way too much good stuff on this trip, and we figured that going on this walk will help us feel less guilty before brunch.
All right, so we're on our way to catch the bus back to Tokyo. And I guess pretty much all we did this trip, we can sum it up as onsen and eating. I guess that was the point of the trip, so I guess we succeeded. Let's do it once per year. Yeah, I feel like our bodies are like healed now. And just like that, we're headed back to Tokyo. This video was a bit of a change in scenery compared to our usual life in Tokyo vlogs, but we hope you guys still liked it. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.